So what's up guys? How are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Today is Friday, and uh, please try as much as possible to make this video and comment as you watch. So guys, uh, of course, if you are currently in West Africa, like Nigeria, not only in Ghana, after Kia Cement announced that uh, the entire Ghana do not have Wi-Fi, that their network is seriously really, really bad. Well, let me make it clear. Also here in Nigeria as well, the network here is bad. Really, really bad, most especially MTN. So I think MTN has finally caught up with uh, Kia uh, cement because they said they are going to deal with him. So they were showing Shiggy. But uh, thank God they didn't show Shiggy while in Nigeria though, but in Ghana. And also, obviously they are still also showing, showing us Shiggy as well. So according to MTN and all those network providers, they said something, something, something happened in the Red Sea that kind of like destroy the, the underground sea uh, wire that is connected to our internet. I do not know. I don't understand that terms. Well, that something destroyed it, something that was about to eat Yemen, you know, controversies around it. So that's the reason why we are experiencing bad network, because me, I'm experiencing it as we speak. So please, you guys should quickly, quickly, quickly handle it. But the question is, can we survive one week without internet in Niger? Honestly, can we survive one week without internet in Niger? Just imagine a day, no network is working, no internet, just your phone, and lines are not also going. Just for a week, just for a day, sir, you think you're going to survive, so people will run into depression. So people will run into serious depression. They will admit some people in psychiatry hospital because they cannot open their phone to chat or check some crazy updates. Well, that being said, let's talk about chaos in that time in Ghana. And of course, he has uh, found a new girlfriend, but me, I, I think my cruise, he enjoyed the catch with all those girls. He said that, uh, he told the girl that a Nigeria girl broke his heart, so that's why he's going for a Ghana girl now, let's be honest. He was just on a cashing cruise with our girls, and uh, he came there to make money. So that's the reason why we all should try as much as possible to return that money. So since Ch Ch Chivon didn't hand up with Kia Kisimet, I think at this Ghana girl, I can also kind of like, okay, since support the Ghana girl since she's from Africa to, you know, Kalebi Siak of all the money that he has made so far in Nigeria and also in Ghana. So, but he wasn't able to spend much time in Ghana and, uh, and uh, he wasn't hosted by many of all those uh, celebrity. Just the same way he was hosted by David O in uh, Nigeria. So he wasn't able to spend much, much time over there, but he had fun. He had fun. And again, there is no comparison here. No, I see the comparison about Kiaki net having more fun in Nigeria than in Ghana. Come on, man. There's no comparison. This is uh, this Kiaki net or Kia cement from me or my lady. Whether you go Ghana or enjoy himself or past Nigeria, what benefit have you benefited? Honestly, let's be honest. Which kind of cruise you don't catch? You don't benefit in any way. No, he hasn't now. So whether I go there, go and join myself, or I join myself way more better than uh, here, he 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 enjoy himself here for Nigeria way more better than I enjoy myself for Ghana. Oh, come on, man, it's kiaki the in it. It doesn't really mean much to us. So anytime he comes, is he is wholeheartedly welcome, and we are still going to welcome him very very well anytime he comes. But we are not going to fight ourselves. We are not going to fight ourselves because of Kiaki Sinet. Uh, nah, we are not going to do that. It ain't no possible that we are going to fight ourselves because of him. Hmm? As long as he just uh, came and he made money, and apparently so far so good. 
even coming here alone, eh, if you should estimate oh, roughly where that guy has been, because I'm kind of like into the social media stuff and I know how much, I kind of like in my own way, kind of like estimate how much people make through social media, looking the views and the subscribers. This guy alone, eh, only in Ninja, for one day while working with Devido and everything, this guy make approximately more than 500k. 500k us dollar now even from twitch alone or from the subscribers now we're talking about every other thing so so far for me i think why even in nigeria this guy made more than a million dollars in nigeria from streaming and everything and he came to ghana i don't know he, he didn't really spend much time there but he still vibe and um, did a lot of content and you just see the guy leave for the internet if no internet is going to run this now you don't want to come up for Ghana because of seeing no internet. You know, that's just how it is. You leave for the internet, I dare for the making money. Well, I'm gonna play you some videos of uh Kiakinet with that is Ghana girl, and uh, of course we saw how we went to this market to start dancing with uh um this market women that was really 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 beautiful. So no controversy so far, except when we was trying to uh when he was trying to support the Ghana Jalof than to the Nigeria Jalof that was obviously close to disrespectful because me myself I've been to Ghana and I tested their Jalof. Unfortunately, it's not that great. The only Ghana Jalof that is great, uh, if you check very well, is cooked by an Nigerian. Yeah, let me let's let's be that straight. The only Ghana jello that is great in Ghana, if you check very well, is cooked by a Nigerian. And I discovered that I went to all those uh Lambilla Beach and I saw a photo hotel. I requested for 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 Ghana for Ghana jello, and honestly, it was one of the worst jello I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah. Then, you know, I cannot compare to Nigeria. And later, I went out on the street to look for jollof, and I came across one nice restaurant. I ate this really, really nice jollof. When I digged, when I searched, and I go deeper into who actually cooked that jollof, I discovered that that restaurant hired a Nigeria cook. That's it, you see. You see, now you guys are going to say it's Ghana jollof. It's not Ghana jollof if a Nigeria cooked it in Ghana. You see, the guy there has Nigeria Jollof. So, Ghana, they need to go out and learn. They are bank. Well, see, let's be honest. Ghana no get native food. They no get native native food. Maybe they chop. Even if we are completely honest with ourselves, they no get native food. They no get native. Just imagine, Kiakinet come Ghana. The only native food you get to give Kiakinet is Jollof rice. <laughs> Well, you call me, we saw how you give a mala chop first. A mala bigri. You will do. Give a shakimi the drag for mouth chop first. Ghana no get any food. Let's be honest. Now, nah, just whitewash. Ghana is a country. The Ghanaians are called uh, the citizens in that country. We just want to be like white. If you see them very well, the way they behave, they almost identify themselves as white. They don't get native food. I ate banco and something. When I went there, I ordered for banco. They put one white something for me. Put one dry fish and put pepper, green pepper. See, make I use and eat. Everything comes of banco. <laughs> I asked, where is the soup? They say it's the pepper. <laughs> I experienced a lot in Ghana. So, most places I ate there, the most places I ate there was the Nigeria. Restaurant and even that Nigeria restaurant say I ate uh, okra soup, okra soup cooked by Nigeria as well. The most places I ate there was entries, rice, pizza, ice cream. Ah, come on, man, come on. Well, let's be. Uh, let me to play this uh, video for you guys of uh, when Kiakine were trying to then play our children. Some jollof right now. Some we eating some uh some Ghanaian jollof. I'm here with Shanti. Shanti from Ghana. Mix. So look, I'm not gonna lie. 
All right, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I'll be honest, all right? I done told you, I done told you this story like two times already. But um, I got my heart broke in uh, Nigeria, right? And uh, I feel I feel better now because I'm in I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in Ghana, and she made me feel like she was showing she was showing me around, making me feel like I had a nice time. And I uh, I, I feel good, I feel good. So last night I was crying a little bit, and uh, now we trying some um. Why were you crying? Huh? Why were you crying? Because. But like, like, how does that even make sense? Like, you saw me and you said we were crying. No, no, I was crying because, like, I Your found out my heart was still broken. Yeah. Yo, look though, no. I'm so mad that I can't stream chat. Tell them, can you please tell them? Tell them no, no, I'm not lying. Tell them what's going on. Yeah, today. So basically, um, I don't know what the fuck happened, but we didn't have internet the whole day. There's like a total internet breakout in the whole West Africa. And yeah, we just like- I'm on hotel Wi-Fi right now. If I had a setup here, I would literally, I would literally set myself up. Yeah. yeah, I'm liking it though. I'm liking the Ghani and Jello. And uh, <laughs> nah, I just had to go live real quick for y'all, bro. Cause chat, I'm gonna put y'all on when I get back to the US, all right? I'm gonna put y'all on when I get back to the US. Um, And yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like chat, like word chat, like chat, like word chat. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Follow me at my... What you mean? <laughs> wait, hold on. Don't follow me. <laughs> wait, Shanti. Wait, her name is Shanti, chat. Yeah, my name is Shanti. Her name is, her name is Shanti. And, um, yeah, we just chilling and shit like that. And, um, eating jollof. Eating which jollof. Which is way better than Nigerian. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't say way better. Okay, not way a tad, tiny bit. Okay, still... don't say way better because what? Nigerian... Jollof is really good. It's really good. The only thing is, Ga Ghani and Jollof is we right have there too. Measurements. Yeah, I can see why you have competition. Yo, chat. When I get back to the U.S., chat. Burn, chat. I gotta... How can you expect a girl when they say introduce herself? The first thing the Ghana girl said was follow me. <laughs> the first thing she said was follow me. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Oh, 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 oh. We go on Nigeria get try self. Nobody said follow me. They just vibe, they enjoy themselves and everything. Nobody said follow me. Man, I'll go put respect for Nigeria guys on that one, man. They're kind of like, ah, no, 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 no. That is one of the biggest uh, respect and one of the biggest true of so far. So Ghana guys, all you want is follow. But you see, it's still the same things though, because all I cannot want from us is more followers. You know, more followers, more money to chop our guests. That's all. So it's understandable if the Ghana guests are following me. Also, because come on, man, you shouldn't be expecting anything more. Kia, just they use all of you now. So I will support her. But when it comes to that Jonas and uh, the journalists to talk, come on, man. You should imagine if, if someone came to your, to your country and the only food that you guys can give is jollof. Jollof is not regarded as a native food. Jollof for me is still regarded as an intercontinental food because it requires their own jollof. Nigeria Jollof, there's Uganda Jollof, there's uh, Cameroon Jollof, there's uh, Zanzibar Jollof, there's uh, like Tanzania Zanzibar, there's uh, Ghana Jollof, there's so many other Jollof. So do not allow someone to come to your country. The first thing you want to give to that person is Jollof. Jollof is not a local food, it's an uh, international food. You know, everyone has their own. Your own local food is banco. You guys who are giving her own banco and dry fish to test and letting you see the reaction. <laughs> Honestly, the recipe that they cook, the banga soup and everything, everything, all from Nigeria. The one that they put for inside pot, now we put her inside, they put soup on top. Everything, all the style from Nigeria. Let's be honest. The gate of your restaurant is being run by Nigerian chefs. Let's be honest about that now. Let's be honest. Well, that being said, thank you very much for watching. So, boy, you got them slink. Cement is already out of uh, our way. So, let us move on to start focusing on many, 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 many other stuff. So, I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.